to say it's a surprise that the Mitsubishi Outlander FEF is still the only reasonably affordable plug-in hybrid SUV on sale is something of an understatement it's been around since 2013 yet no other manufacturer has yet produced a direct rival in the sub pound 40 000 price bracket a crucial figure for company car tax rates given that the Outlander is the biggest selling plug-in hybrid car in both the UK and Europe it's a pretty big bandwagon that others have seemingly missed probably because it trolled silently by in F mode but it won't be long before that changes there are more expensive alternatives already. The Volvo XC60 T8 for example and the Kia Niro plug-in offers SUV style on a smaller scale as such Mitsubishi has seen fit to give its eco challenger a spruce up. There are some big changes under the skin hybrid wise with only the front electric motor carried over from the existing layout a new rear motor generator increased battery capacity and new petrol engine all feature for the first time the latter is a 2.4 liter lump taking the place of the old 2.0 liter unit there's more power 133 bhp versus 119 bhp and more torque at 200 11 newton meters versus 190 newton meters while the rear electric motors output has also increased from 81 bhp to 94 bhp as before the outlander works predominantly as a permanent four-wheel drive f with the petrol engine only directly driving the front wheels under heavy acceleration the rest of the time the internal combustion motor now operating on the atkinson cycle for greater efficiency acts as a generator to top up the battery the tweaks are said to improve efficiency while also boosting performance based on the same net testing procedure as the old car CO2 emissions have dropped 1 gram slash km to 40 gram slash km and fuel consumption stands at 156.9 miles per gallon however on the latest more stringent WLTP tests the official figures are 46 gram slash km and 141.2 miles per gallon F range on the latest cycle is claimed to be 28 miles in a back to back test against the previous model it's clear the new powertrain is an improvement in full F mode the car feels perkier and the X extra torque of the bigger engine means that it doesn't drone as much under hard acceleration. But it sounds just as unpleasant when it does new welding processes have strengthened the chassis and the suspension has been tweaked to match bringing marginal improvements to ride comfort and refinement the revised steering setup is lighter more precise and quicker than before regardless of the updates this still isn't a car to be hurried it feels very heavy through the turns and there's more body roll than you'll find in most other SUVs the ride manages to be both quite floaty at higher speeds and a bit harsh over rough stretches unlike the mechanical tweaks it'll take a serious outland Duranarak to spot the cosmetic changes the fog lamps are square rather than round the grille is subtly reshaped there's a new wheel design still 18 inches and a bigger rear wing but feedback from existing customers said that they didn't want change here so that's that more thorough interior updates wouldn't have gone amiss though. There's a revised digital display between the dials new trim inserts and some repositioned switches but that's about it top spec models get a set of very comfy quilted seats too compared to most SUVs and indeed other plug-in hybrids the design is looking a little dated now build quality feels solid enough but there's quite a few cheap plastics around the glove box and center console for example Mitsubishi Outlander for 4 hours price. 39,500 pounds ist engine, 2.4 litre 4 sil petrol plus 2 electric motors power, 133 bhp engine 81 bhp front motor 94 bhp rear motor transmission, fixed gear twin output 4 wheel drive 062 miles per hour. 10.5 seconds top speed, 106 miles per hour economy, CO2, 141.2 miles per gallon slash 46 grams slash km.